Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a first impressions slash disassembly slash mod of the Ferrum Forge Stinger. Um, sorry, I was missing a light here. Um, so this knife was gifted to me by my good buddy Jake Bearded Gear. Check out his channel if you haven't. Um, I'll try to remember to link to his, just, uh, to his channel in the description. I usually remember to do all that stuff. Um, and I'm really stoked that he gave me this because it was a knife that I did not really think to check out because it's right hand only. I had the mini archbishop and it wasn't my favorite. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, uh, I got it in and I really liked the knife. Um, I took it apart the other day just to kind of see what was going on and put skiffs in it and I couldn't seem to get them in there properly so I don't think I can do skiff bearings on this one guys um, but I did get these custom scales from Cerberus knives um, interesting looking scales um, they definitely don't look perfectly finished but i don't know if that matters really especially on this side um but we'll see how it looks once i get them on there right but definitely some rough edges here um but that could just be simple you know wiping off whatever uh, i'm not going to judge it at this point uh, but they definitely look way better than the uh, stock G10 scale. So we're gonna see how that goes. Maybe I'll try the skiffs again. I really don't wanna be taking it apart and putting it together a million times. Got my Dock Street Bohemian Pilsner. And real quick, I did wanna mention, the other day I unboxed this uh, refined EP1 pen that I requested from them i messaged them and asked and they were gracious enough to send me one um i love this thing so much that i reached back out and i asked for a discount so i could buy another one because they have this polished uh or blasted titanium one and they were cool enough to give me 30 percent off so i got this it was still 50 bucks but for a titanium pen um guys these pens are absolutely out of this world fantastic I fully can recommend this uh, Refine EP1 pen, any which one you want. The titanium ones are obviously lighter, but if you don't care about weight, then get whatever you want. Um, but just the feel in hand, the size, the comfortability, um, the action on them is fun. Um, it's super lightweight, even with the bolt action, which I appreciate. Has that nice touch with the copper. It sticks out a good bit, so you get some good writing. If you're left-handed, this does come with a Schmitz Easy Flow 9000 in it, but you can easily replace that with Parker refills. That is what I do with all of them. Um, and those write like a dream. They don't smear or anything like that. So just wanted to mention that. Really loving these uh, EP1 pens. And again, one was free. I got one with a discount. So, um, you know, always keep that in mind. So I got these scales and I think I paid, I think they were 75 bucks and was shipping or whatever. I think it was like $83. Um, I have my handy dandy um, Brian Brown Vulcan bit driver. Also, I have my Scout Leather Co. driver if I need it. I think I will because I think we're going to need the T8 and the T6. Um, I also want to point out that you can get these bit sets from Urban EDC Supply. Um, 15 bucks, and you'll get a set of bits. Now, you only get one T6 and one T8, and then you get like a T7, a T9, um, a T10. I think there might be the big guys in there too, like uh, 15 and 20. And then you get some random like Phillips and stuff. But this is one of the cheapest ways to get bits I've found. Um, another way is to order these sets from Amazon. Again, you get all this stuff you don't need if you have a driver already. And you get T5 through, I think, 30. Uh, that says 25, but this one clearly is bigger. Um, yeah, T30 is the one that you get 
So T5 through T30. Again, you don't really need all those, um, but you're really just looking for the six and the eight, right? Most of the time, but you can't just order T6 or T8. Um, I've seen 25 packs of T8s on Amazon. Uh, I almost ordered one. It was like close to 20 bucks, which I don't think that's a bad deal if you get 25 T8s. And I did find this on Amazon the other day, a six piece set. This comes with, um, I believe T5, oh, here we go. T5, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Um, and I bought two of those and I think it was like 20 bucks total for both. That was probably the best thing I found. Um, but you will run into knives like the Evo that takes, uh, wow, that's so weird. This is the Evo 1.0 from Kyle. Look at that. That's a T8. That is a T8. That's crazy. Because the 2.0 uses a T20 and then T15 on all the other hardware. What does this use? Look at that. It does use the T15, looks like. No. Even that is a T8 or a T10. Interesting. So they really beefed it up on the 2.0. Sorry, I'm getting way off track. I think I saw they're coming out with the 3.0, which is cool. Um, but anyway, that's bits and whatever. I just kind of wanted to say that for some reason. So here's your T8 on the pivot of your Farron Forge Stinger. Skip to about seven minutes into the video if you want to see the disassembly. Sorry, guys. Um... I want to mention also that I have contracted, we'll call it, um, to have a um, leather disassembly mat made for me. Um, hoping I can get a cool one made with my logo somehow and possibly a coaster because, you know, I need to uh, have my beer on there as I'm taking these apart for you guys or whatever. Um and then along with this Stinger one, I think I have, I just did the Pena Swayback um, and the Mini Old Guard I did. Um, and then I'll be doing the Mordax very soon. Let me put this aside. We won't need that anymore. Um, I'll be doing the Mordax. I just unboxed that. Um, so we have some more disassemblies coming, guys. No worries there. Just got to make sure that this time I put all the pieces back in, right? That was my biggest downfall in the um, Pena X-Series disassembly, which I may post that after this or before. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, that was the biggest issue I had with that. Um, what is going on here? Okay. All right. We are apart. I don't want to lose this backspacer here. So can I tighten that in? No, I can't really do anything with that, but I can put this guy in as well. Sorry. Put that in, and then I'll kind of leave it over here because I do need the scales. So here's your um, bearings. So I talked to somebody else recently, and you'll see it's really clean in here because I took it apart, put it back together a bunch of times trying to get the uh, skips in, and they are your standard 5 millimeters. Um, but... Try to get some the lighting in here a little better. Um, but the issue I had was that, I don't know, they wouldn't spin in the pocket well, I guess. Um, they wouldn't rotate in here very well. Like, they fit too well. I guess I could show you. Um, and I wish I had gotten the Gillian's bear, uh, bearings today. They were scheduled to be delivered. Um, but... Somehow they got sent certified mail and instead of being sent um, just regular priority. So they got somehow they got sent to the post office. So I have to go pick them up, which isn't a problem. But I just I didn't get them today, so I couldn't use them for this. Um, these are the five millimeter skiffs, which, you know, more and more I'm finding it's hit or miss with the skiff bearing. So 
Uh, make sure you do your research and ask around and see why won't these come out of the fucking bag? Just come out, you shit. Oh, it's ripped. That's why. It's not even open. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, thank you. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, you see how it pops in there? So, I think that's fine. I, I guess the issue is the width. You see how wide it is? It sticks out a little bit. Let's see how this looks. So, normally you'd have the blade facing in like that. Sorry, the bearing would be facing in. And I guess that that is more flush than that. Well, it looks okay. Let's try it again. Fuck it. I'll take it apart again if I need to, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. Ain't no time like the present. All right. So we got it apart, right? Now, the biggest key to this, this is what screwed me up last night a bunch of times. Make sure this sucker is in there all the way. Don't let it sit like this. I hope you can see that. Don't let it sit like that or like this. or whatever. Just make sure it's in there, okay? If you want to have the F facing a certain way, that's fine. But just make sure that sucker's all the way in. And as you're doing stuff, hold it in. Because that, that guy wants to come out. I'm telling you. Drop this one on. Drop that guy on. Other than that, it's see, it's like not that difficult of a disassembly and reassembly, um, honestly. But it just kind of got me there. I kept doing that wrong, I guess. I don't know. It was weird. So you'll see how everything's on there, but I'm still holding that guy. Get my T6 here, my on screen. Yes, tighten this down. Okay, I'm not in position. This was a bit of a pain as well, and then I had to kind of move off of that pivot, and that was what I kept putting it back in the wrong place. Uh, come on, baby. It's okay to scratch these scales, I guess, right? What's going on here? Oh, there, okay. Okay, now I'm just screwing everything up. Let me make sure I get it in this guy first. Okay, I'm doing what I I'm doing what I said not to do, and I'm letting go of that pivot because I can't control anything else at the moment. Man, it is freaking bright. Yet I feel like you guys can't see anything. I don't know. Am I crazy? All right, that guy went in. All right, that guy's in, so that's good. This guy's acting a fool, and now he's going in. He's fighting me a little, but it's okay. Now he's in. I'm not tightening these too crazy, because I'm guessing I'm probably going to end up redoing this. Oh, crap. Fuck. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this scale back on, and I'm going to see if I can get the skips to work. If I can't, then I'll take it back apart. Because at this point, I basically have to um, take it apart again to get this scale off, which I screwed up. That's my fault. So... You'll see what I'm saying in a second. You know me, guys. You got to do things a couple times or it's not proper. Uh, I'll put this guy in here. And I'm going to do this uh, very loosely. I'm not going to go crazy here. Come on, just find your hole, buddy. What the hell? What is going on? There we go. <laughs> Who knows, guys? Who freaking knows? Are you watching this channel to get information or to laugh at me? Because, honestly, I think it should be the latter. All right, not too tight. Now, this is where I had trouble. I couldn't get it centered and or, like, functioning very well. So, we will see. All right. So, that's pretty tight there. And you'll see that that is not centered at all. And it, like, I don't know. 
Well, doesn't feel terrible. Are they moving in there? I just think they're a tad too wide. Um, especially the fact that I can't. Uh, it's as tight as it gets without me doing anything stupid. And now it's like all jacked up. Oh, wait, did that? No. Yeah, I don't think you can use skips in this guy, so. Now we know. For sure, right? For sure, you guys could see that. Um, action just didn't feel right. And, um, yeah, you couldn't get it centered either, so. We can put the regular bearings back in. We can make sure we actually take the other scale off. Because <laughs> that's kind of important. Let's do it this way. We don't need to go crazy here. We just pop, 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 pop. All right, this goes to the side. Open this, pop this off. Shake that out, shake that out. Bada bink, bada boom, bobbed your uncle. Man, this thing is shredded, right? Ooh, 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 ooh. I have another set. I have another bag with like 20 sets. There it is. I have so many sets of these five millimeters. It's insane. I think I have another two somewhere as well. Came back with my OEM slut. Which, by the way, guys, I got that uh, Evo, the one I won in that raffle. I got that today, and I sold it right away to my good buddy, JD, Shadowborn Hanks. Uh, he's just a really cool dude, and um, I don't know. He wanted one, and uh, I really like that guy. Uh, we've done some stuff in the past, and uh, he always hooks me up with Hanks, and... I just like him, so uh, I figured I'd sell it to him, uh, and I did not way overprice him or anything. I gave him retail pricing, basically, so don't come at your boy. All right. Gonna be careful here, guys. There's definitely Loctite being used, um, but... I am not using it. And yes, I see that random thing in my bobby hanging off of my. What is up, guys? Oh, I just spoke just like Ben Peterson, huh? Uh... Is this going to line up for me? Yep. Come on, baby, work. I'm just going till, right, till until I feel it like tighten to the point where I'm not like able to really turn it anymore. Basically, this is going to be an interesting fit. Really had to push that to even get it in there. Oh, God. All right. Hey, it popped in. This sucker is going to stay in there, too. That's good. All right, so far so good, peeps. Um, place this bad boy down. You notice I'm not adding KPL, and that's because there's some sort of still on here from yesterday, and I'm just trying to be pretty diligent about that, not going ape shit with it like I always do. All right, backspacer, don't be playing games. Yeah, I wish the backspacer was on the other scale. Um, like, connected to the other scale. I just think it'd be easier. Which way was it now? Like this? I guess it... Or was it like this? No, it was like this. Okay. Pop in there. And pop in there. Okay. Now you want to pop in there. Hope you guys can see everything. All right. 
Grab my handy dandy T6. Look at that. Bada bink, bada bump. Why is the blade going backwards? Wow. Guys, what the hell? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is going on? That stop pin just kind of goes right through. That's interesting. Uh, let me just tighten these. All right. Put this sucker on top. That blocks that stop pin, obviously. But I feel like that could cause some real centering issues, but whatever. Oh, shit. God damn it, Kev. Seriously, I'm sorry, guys. I am fucking out of it right now. <sighs> oh, great. The clip screw fell out. Looks like they're all the same size, so we're good. Can't wait to get that tray, guys. Like, you probably, you guys probably can't wait till I get that tray either, huh? Looks lined up. I have a theory, so hang in there. Maybe this is the clip screw and it is different. Might be a little thinner. Yep. Getting resistance. Resistance. We're almost there, guys. Well, then we gotta deal with action, but one thing at a time. Let me close this bad boy. Yeah, guys, I really like this knife. Um, really happy Jake sent it my way. Um, he knows me, so I'm glad that he picked this guy. Resistance. All right. So here we go, guys. This is some OD green linen micarta scales from Cerberus. Yeah, they look really good. And I bet you just a little bit of use with some oilage. And uh, we're going to be good. So here we can see the centering is off, but I haven't tried to tune this at all. Come on, baby. Come back to center. Oh, it's still spinning a little bit in there. There we go. You can see that. Oh, sorry. You can see that just shot across. Oh, scratching shit, of course. That's me. All right. To me, that is centered. So I'm hoping there's no play or anything at this point. Shoots out. We have play. So we're going to have to deal with this, guys. Oh, yeah. We got a lot of play. Still have play. Interesting. No play. Centering is way off. <whistles> Look at that. That's not good, guys. Man, these scales feel good, too. Feel really good. Look at that. Holy cow. Why aren't you centered, though? I mean, anything could throw this off, guys. Just a, a little bit of wrong machining in there could throw it off to where it just doesn't line up.
Like that is center, but it's super loose. Oh, wait. There's a little bit of play, but it's not much. Oh, now it's way over there. That's center. There's a good amount of waggle in there. Oh, it feels so good, though. Oh, my God, that feels good. Actually, I don't know what that is. Is that just a stop pin in there? It's very odd. But you should be able to just tighten down the pivot, you know, and feel confident in the centering at that point. And I don't. So I'm going to try something. We want it to move that way, so we should push the blade this way, I think, on tightening. I think that's what they tell you to do. We're closer. <laughs> Guys, I am fucking, you know, oh man, I am way out of it right now. All right, hang on. That hit the top of my desk, don't worry. Nothing crazy is happening. I push this way? Yeah. It's super duper tight. I mean, I can deal with a little bit of play, but I need that centering. Oh, it's close. It's close. Actually, it is centered, so hang on. Yeah, just a little bit of play in there. Oh, yeah, baby. And we're back over. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Seems like it's going to be a project, right? I can feel it wanting to... I wonder if this scale just needs to like break in or something. Nah. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Loctite it. Luckily, we're talking about a keyed pivot, right? Also, I'm going to double check this pivot. Make sure it's actually pushed all the way through. Because, excuse me. That's what got me yesterday. Sorry about this being a long one, guys. You know me. I am not the Shabazz. That's for damn show. All right, I got plenty of it on there. That's how I roll. I put plenty of it on there. <laughs> Make sure that shit sticks. And if you have a keyed pivot, you have less to worry about in terms of it getting stuck or something. So we're really loose. Make sure that pivot's pushed through. This is what I'm going to do right here. Hang on, you guys won't be able to see this, but... I'm gonna press it against my leg. Nah, see, now we went the other way. All right, so that's what I don't wanna do. I'm pushing with my thumb to try to get it to come this way. Okay, well that's pushing the pivot out though. So. Mm. Really getting frustrated here, guys. See that just drop shut though? Oh, that is so close, right? 
Look at that. So close. It's not really loose. I think I accept this centering right here. I think that's pretty much good. What do you think? I think we're 30 minutes in and I'm jabbering about centering. I think that's good, guys. Um, and then on the play... Yeah, I don't really feel anything. If I hold it like this, I feel almost nothing. If I hold it back here, I feel a little bit. So I feel like that's something else. Uh, but, you know, I could be wrong. But it being Loctited and everything... It should be good, and I prefer good action. This is really good, um, and the centering is good. So one more, yeah. Let's stick with this. I'm gonna let this sit to dry overnight at least, but check out these scales, guys. Uh, Cerberus does a great job. Um, definitely check out Jake's channel. You'll see plenty of Cerberus products. He even has a knife out now. It's called the Artisan Cutlery uh, Arian. A-R-I-O-N, I believe. I do want to get my hands on one of those. I think I have one coming as a loner. I'm um, really interested in that. It's kind of a similar knife looking to this. Uh, the Field Duty from Liang Ma. It has this kind of a blade, but it's longer. Um, it has a kind of oval-shaped hole. Not like this at all. Uh, of course, different handle. I'm just saying the overall design kind of looks like this. Um, they're definitely not like that similar but i just wanted to give you an idea really cool knife but i'm glad he made these scales because this really pimps this knife out it looks so much better than this uh and it just feels better that's the thing for me is i want that feel um little bit concerning on the centering there whether that is me or this knife or if it's the scales that kind of throw it off um Inter I'll be interested to find out because I know other people that want these scales. So depending on what I hear uh, in terms of feedback, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be able to tell. But really, really cool. Just carrying these for a couple days. They'll wear in perfectly. I know that's why he kind of leaves them a little rough. So um, anyway, I absolutely love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.